Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Truck and Coffee. We're here at the terminal in line to enter the terminal to pick up a chassis and an empty container for a live load. We'll be driving to Greensville, South Carolina. The terminal open at 7 a.m. Seven ten right now, so just doing the line. Let me get inside, and I will update you from there. Okay, we just entered the terminal. It's starting to rain. Let me head to the back, pick up a chassis. And then I could come to the front where this machine is at and pick up a container. It's a 20 foot chassis for a 20 foot container. See, there's a all the chassis back here stacked up. Trying to get in and out. It's starting to rain and it gets very muddy. These other chassis here, guys. That should be the 20 footers. Let me get in here and grab a chassis. Okay, I backed into the 20 foot chassis. Check all my lights. Check all my tires, lug nuts. Everything's operational. Uh, we are heading back to the exit to get my container loaded. Once I get my container loaded, I gotta stop at the office so I can check out. So let me get a little closer. Okay, they're loading the container. Okay, we just exited the terminal. We got our container. Okay, so we're getting on the highway right now. We are headed to Greensville, South Carolina. For one hour and 28 minutes to exit five one BCA. We have a little bit over. We have a little bit over 100 miles to drive. station up ahead
truck bypass way station. We are empty. Even the way station have plenty of room to get back in the highway. And as you can see, DOT is at the way station. updating our drive we have about 80 miles to drive before we reach our destination for a live load as you can see it's it's raining temperatures around 60 degrees but traffic is moving pretty good so that's always a plus Guys, while I'm driving, I'm uh, drinking my hot coffee. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. I don't know if you can see in the background, but that's the train running the containers. Right there on top of the bridge. again guys I will invest in some kind of 
tanks and I will purchase the diesel and store it. It just got out of hand real quick and there's nothing you can do. I mean, you have to stay working so you have to pay the bills and, and you know, they're, they knew it, so. Okay, so we have a Love's Truck Stop. The Love's Truck Stop has it for $5.19 a gallon. Now I'm in South Carolina, so I will refuel just because it's cheaper. Not necessary because I need it, but. Let's keep on driving, guys. Okay, guys, giving you an update. We have about 30 more miles to drive before reaching destination. It continues to rain. I like the rain, so it doesn't bother me. This is our drive so far.
Okay, we just reach our exit. At 900 feet, use the right two lanes to turn right on East Stone Avenue. Okay guys, so a little bit hard to see there, but I'm in the dock. It's right in front of the security guard. This is a live load, so now we wait to get loaded. Okay guys, so I'm in the dock. 
guys, we just got loaded. We just got on the highway. Uh, I'm gonna stop and refuel. It's only a 20 foot container, so it was a quick load. It's about 10 skids. Try to hurry up and get back on the highway, beat the traffic. We have about 85 miles to drive before we hit the terminal. But let me uh, keep on driving and then I'm gonna stop and refuel. Okay, I just stopped at the TA. I just pumped 48 gallons at $5.19 for a total of $250. Okay, we just exit the TA. We're gonna get back on the highway. 300 feet. Turn right on East. Okay, we're back on the highway. We have a little bit over 75 miles to drive before we reach the terminal. It's still raining, but traffic is moving pretty good.
believe you said it was closed. Looks like they got some kind of construction going on. made it back to the terminal i'm gonna go ahead and enter drop this container and bob tail out guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one stay safe